Hi YouTube, this is Patrick with my next entry in the Blu-ray series, and today I'm going to be talking about 310 to Yuma, a uh, western directed by James Mangold, came out in 2007. Uh, James Mangold directed uh, Walk the Line, the Johnny Cash film with Joaquin Phoenix, and Identity, the uh, hotel horror film with uh, John Cusack. Um, as far as westerns go, I have a couple in my collection. Um, I think I have a John Wayne, I have a Clint Eastwood. I always prefer Clint Eastwood ones to John Wayne ones, always did. Um, growing up, I saw Tombstone when I was probably like 11 or 10. And Tombstone, I just, I always thought it was great. Um, but 310 to Yuma, um, quite possibly has become my favorite Western. And I feel kind of weird saying that, one, because it, it just feels, you know, odd to place all those other great ones underneath it. Uh, but it also feels less like a western, more like an action movie, like half action movie, half like morality play. Um, because uh, basically what the movie's about is a group of guys, including a rancher played by Christian Bale, um, are escorting a prisoner, Ben Wade, played by Russell Crowe. And they're taking him to the town of Contention to put him on the 310 to Yuma train to take him to some prison. I don't know to be hanged, basically. Um, but the thing is that the movie's main two characters seem to be fighting over, like, the soul of Christian Bale's character's son in the movie, about which way that son is going to make choices in his life. Um, it's really, really great work. Um, Russell Crowe uh, gets the more, like, flashy kind of role, um, and he, he's fantastic in it. He's always really good in everything he does. Even if the movie he's in isn't good, he's always really good in it. Um... Christian Bale, though, however, is actually even better in this. On first watch, you may not think so, but on a couple of watches now, I, I, he, I think this is actually one of his best performances. Um, it has other really great work by uh, Peter Fonda. Uh, I forget the actor's name, but Kimi from Lost. The great little side turn. Um, the doctor in the movie is played by the... Uh, oh, God, I forget his name. Uh, from Firefly. I think it's Ash from Firefly. I think that's him. Uh, I forget the actor's name. But, uh, him and also Ben Foster, who's great in the movie. F absolutely fantastic in the movie. Um, but, uh, but anyway. So this was one of the first Blu-rays I ever bought, and I probably paid, I might have paid like 30 bucks for it. Because that was back when 30 bucks was cheap for a Blu-ray. And it is as good-looking a Blu-ray as I have, <clears throat> as I have. So, I it's well worth thirty bucks. I watch it at least like once a year. Um, so, I definitely got my money's worth with this one. Uh, you know, I think it's a great movie. Um, I don't know what else to say. They, oh, the one uh, like detractor about the film was probably the third act where a couple of the characters make choices that seem kind of out of nowhere for some people, I think. For me, it didn't. For me, it, uh, if you watch the movie and you really pay attention to what the movie's really about, not plot-wise, but, you know, like the themes and everything like that, I think it's it was really well done. Really well done. Um, but let me know otherwise if someone else feels differently. Um, all right, I think that's it for this one. Uh, I know this one was kind of short, but... Um, yeah, I just, I, I can't get enough of this movie, so, um, if, you know, I'd recommend a blind buy for this, I really would, um, but alright, uh, I might do another one of these on Sunday, uh, no, excuse me, before Sunday, because Sunday I'm gonna do the Walking Dead Blu-ray, uh, because the season's premiering Sunday night, um, and then I have to do the Dexter review and the Walking Dead review, and I'm getting new Blu-rays next week, so all that stuff's going to be going on. Uh, so I'll try to do one more of these, but if I don't, until then, I'll see you guys on Sunday. All right? Adios.